In this video, we will look at how to use the Nokia 5110 LCD screen based on a PCD8544 controller with the Raspberry Pi Pico using MicroPython. We will look at the library in MicroPython written by Mike Hauser and do a simple project to display the onboard temperature sensor of the Raspberry Pi Pico to the screen and finish off by looking at other examples. This video is part of the Raspberry Pi Pico tutorial series I am making and if you have not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button and let's get started. The Nokia 5110 is a basic graphic LCD screen for many applications and you will often see it being used in DIY projects. Before we look at the library we will use, let's look at the wiring for this project. The module has 8 pins and interfaces with the Pico SPI communication. Here is a table to show each pin with its name and description. I made the following connections for this video, but you might want to use the SPI1 or a different pin to control the backlight. You can find the GitHub repository for the library in the description that we will use for the Pico. Open the pcd 8544 fpy file and copy all the code. Now open your favorite IDE. In this video I'm going to use Fony, so I'm going to create a new file, paste the code I just copied and I will save it to the Pico. Make sure when you save it it has the same name as the original file ending with .py. In my GitHub repository, you will find the code for the examples and simple projects we will look at together. The pins are configured as shown in the previous schematic, so copy and paste these code in Fony to test them. We will look at the temperature program first. The Pico has an onboard temperature sensor. We can read the sensor's analog data, convert it and then display it to our screen. Here we import the Nokia library, and from machine we import the pen and SPI function and hue time to use the sleep function for delays. In this block we set up all the pins according to our schematic and initialize the SPI communication. Here we create a variable called backlight which you can use to control the backlight to be either on or off. Then we can start to initialize our LCD using the library by setting it equal to the variable LCD. We then read the temperature sensor from an analog pin and use a conversion factor to convert it. In our main loop, we create a variable temperature and set it equal to the function read temp. That will do all the calculations to receive the temperature from the onboard temperature sensor. Then another function called display temp will display the temperature on the screen. In the read temp function, we create a variable reading which will give you an integer number between 0 to 65,535 so we have to convert this value to Celsius degree scale. So we set reading equal to that values being read and times that with the conversion factor. The temperature sensor works by delivering a voltage to the ADC4 pin that is proportional to the temperature. From the data sheet, a temperature of 27 degrees Celsius delivers a voltage of 0.706 volt. With each additional degree, the voltage reduced by 1.721 millivolt. The first step in converting the 16-bit temperature is to convert it back to volts, which is done based on the 3.3 volt maximum voltage used by the Pico board. With this conversion, the variable reading holds a value between 0 and 3.3. We again have to do a second conversion, which brings the temperature to Celsius scale, and this is done by the following line of code. Then we just format it to be two decimals, save it in a string, and return that string which is assigned to the variable temperature. The variable is then given to the display temp function. Here we use the lcd.txt to write the channel name NerdCave. How this works is the first variable is the string, second the x coordinate, third the y coordinate and the last one of the text to be visible or not. We then write the string to our screen and move down the starting y coordinate. Clear the screen first and then show the text on the screen. I added a short delay to see the change in temperature in the shell. And then finally we use the lcd.fill to erase everything before the screen is updated with a new temperature. Now just upload this code to the Pico. And here we have the Raspberry Pi Pico reading the temperature with its onboard temperature sensor and displaying it on the Nokia 5110 screen. We can also verify that this work. By heating up the Pico, we see the rise in the temperature being displayed on our LCD. Now, let's look at a few examples. Our first example is a screensaver, which a smiley face is drawn and then shifted around. Our second example here, which is very cool, is a 3D cube, which you can dig through all the code if you want to know how it works. And then finally, this video cannot be finished without our last example, which is the famous Nokia's hands logo. And now that you know how to use the Nokia 5110 LCD, go and use it in your own projects. 
Do not forget to subscribe to this channel as I am uploading videos on a regular basis based on a Raspberry Pi Pico and a lot of other projects. I will see you in the next video.